To win Gary's mod, every time you fight a zombie, it's not really all that difficult of a task. I mean, a few crowbar hits here and there, maybe a few pistol shots, and he's as good as dead. But of course, that all changes when you are surrounded by a horde of them. Now naturally, when you fight a horde of zombies like this, you would want to barricade yourself up into a place that you could call your base, and then maybe like stock up on ammo and supplies with your friends, and then just kind of hold it out until the horde is over. And the problem is, well, the zombies can just get through things. For instance, if we were to try to blockade the zombie with boxes or anything of the sorts, well, the zombie can just knock the box out of the way, or even worse, into you. So that's not really a good way to defend against a zombie. But this, on the other hand, is definitely different. Also, I love that it's a Stanley hammer. I actually have a Stanley hammer um, I'm looking at it right now. So I thought that was kind of funny to see that. But this is not all about Stanley. Also, we're in an Aldi. I don't know what's with all the product placement. This is the one and only Barricade Swep. And we're going to use it to not only destroy things we don't need. For instance, this glass. We are now in the destruct mode. And you can see the health as well. So pressing left click will obviously destroy the glass. Now, normally I think you can destroy doors, but for some reason, these slide doors can't be destroyed. However, we have something else that we can do. Pressing right click, we can choose our barricading option. From thin pieces of wood, all the way to thick pieces of wood. And with these pieces of wood, you can put them down pretty much anywhere you please. Just make sure that it does kind of line up. Like obviously we broke this, like a zombie can just jump through this or something. So we can fix that by boarding it back up. All right, and here we are. And we only need a few boards just so it can't get through. If we can actually put another one down. All right, there we go, perfect. Awesome, so we should be good. Now even though this is a good placement, these boards are not indestructible. As you can see, they do have health, 50 health, which is not too bad. Now for this longer door, we're gonna need something, well, quite long. So this is actually perfect. Now even when the door slides open, the zombie will not be able to get through. And of course we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to this side just to make sure, but just look how cool and seamless this mod is. Like, being able to place any kind of board down in any orientation. Oh, and also if you're not a fan of these very thin boards, check out this absolute chonker of a board. Look how big that is. That covers the entirety of the door length. We're gonna go ahead and put one down here just for good measure because as you guys are gonna see, this is not a perfect method. All right, so for some reason, this does not wanna work. We're gonna go ahead and summon a bunch of zombies, not only the standard ones, but even the fast ones, and see how they get in, if they can. All right, so we should be pretty safe. No more having to worry about them knocking boxes into you or anything like that. But let's see how this works. Uh, oh no. So I think they're going the other entrance. They are, they're wrapping. Oh my God, he's already in. So we messed up already because now they're gonna be coming in through the back and that is not something I anticipated. All right, let's go ahead and just stop this real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the ones that got through. And this, my friends, is why preparation is key. All right, so I think maybe a head crab or two could get in, but that looks good. It really does look awesome. Like, this is what this tool is used for because I mean, those doors, obviously there's doors there, but there's no door here at all. So your best bet would be to block this with boxes and obviously we saw how well that turned out. All right, let's go ahead and let them loose now. Let's see if they can get in or what they do. All right, so as you can see, they're having a dilemma trying to figure out what to do because I don't think they know how to deal with wood. Okay, they're starting to leap at it. That is doing a little bit of damage. So like I said, it's, you know, it's not perfect. They're not gonna be whacking at it all the time. And just an FYI, all of the zombies completely forgot that there was a front entrance. Yeah, you can see the zombies out here don't even care. They're just doing their own thing. All right, so let's go ahead and spawn some zombies in the doorway. Let's see how they react. Now with the sliding doors, it might be a little weird because I mean, the doors keep kind of opening and closing. Oh, and look at that. One of the fast zombies decided to join us. But as you guys can see, it is a very effective method of keeping zombies at bay. And then obviously while this is happening, you can just go absolutely crazy shooting them from the outside. Oh, until a head crab jumps through. So like I said, we didn't really prepare for head crabs, which is definitely something that you might want to be cautious of because they can fit through all the little cracks that you did not seal up. But while we let them do that, oh, okay, I, I, <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. Let's go ahead and check the back entrance and we can see 
Well, the zombies have kind of just given up. At least these ones have. Do you know what I think? We don't have enough zombies. Let's go ahead and spawn a metric crap ton of them. While we're at it, we're gonna spawn in a few of these. You know what? Some antlion go- Alright, never mind. That might be a bad idea because they'll just kill each other. You know what? Screw it. Let's throw some zombines in. Okay. Let's see if we're good against head crabs. Because like I said, there are some cracks. Head crabs might be able to get through. And it looks like we just barely got it. I don't think the head crabs can fit through that little gap. Thank- Oh! But the zombine grenade totally can. And that is where you must be very careful because explosives are going to be your worst enemy. Now thankfully, most zombies tend to not bring explosives with them. But what is a zombie horde without a zombine? Oh, and look at that, we have a head crab. How did he get through? He must have came through the fr Oh my god, there's another one. So these, I believe, are the ones I spawned. I think they wrapped all the way around and jumped through this window. That's the only way they could have came in. Wait, you know what? I want to see if- Oh, hey. Oh, wait, how did he get- Oh no, I forgot the back entrance. Ah! <laughs> okay, so it's safe to say that part of this store is now compromised. So you know what that means? We're going to have to sacrifice it. I'm going to take care of these stragglers that came through. It's time to board this up. And of course, guys, this is the most basic iteration of this. If you guys really want, you can go absolutely crazy and like do a horde mode or something. In fact, that's what I'm going to do at the end of this video. In fact, I'll probably do it right now. But also, I want to show you guys this. So when you're placing something, if you go ahead and hold E and mouse one, you can rotate. So now if you wanted to cover the vertical points, now you totally can. It's just I think this thing is a little too... uh big all right here we go so yeah like this you can kind of like angle it even so it doesn't even have to be perfectly straight and that gives it that nice like ramshack look okay it's safe to say we're good on that side if they were to break through this window i think we would be oh wait what okay so they might have destroyed one of these pieces of wood we're gonna go ahead and seal that up and awesome i think we're good to go and again we're going Oh, we forgot a head crab. And now we're going to go all the way. We're going to use Zippy's horde mode. If you guys want to see a video I did on this, I'll put it in the top right corner. Let's go ahead and start with the maximum number and let's just go absolutely ham. And we're going to turn off teleport so that they can't come in the building, but some of them still might. Here goes nothing. And unfortunately, some of them did teleport in. That's bound to happen though, because this is a pretty big store. So let's just take care of the ones that did get through. And let's see if we can protect ourselves from the ones on the outside. All right, so we can see they're looking pretty eager. But once again, they don't really have a choice. They can't really get in. Now, oh, I did see a few of them start attacking the wood. I don't know why they're not doing that now. For some reason, they just... They don't even want to bother with the wood. This could have something to do with the fact that I don't know if this map has nodes. So guys, definitely get a map with nodes. I thought this did have nodes, so I don't know why I even chose this map. All right, guys, so we are now on Construct because this has a navigation mesh and nodes. So it should give us a much better idea at how this works. By the way, check this out. If one of your boards isn't big enough, you can just apply a board on the board and pretty much extend it. I think that's really cool. All right, so it looks like we're actually coming along pretty well here. Got to make sure headcrabs can't sneak in. Okay, that should be good. I'm going to go ahead and also block this off just for good measure. Okay, let's go ahead and see if they can get in through here. All right, I spawned a bunch of zombies. Let's see how this works. I'm definitely intrigued to see if they can even get through this or if they start attacking it because... Like I said, I was able to get them to do it before, but now they just don't really want to. But I guess they just don't see it as a prop. Although, check this out, we're already taking some pretty significant damage because every time they leap at it, it does slowly wither away at the health. We can see the normal zombies aren't doing anything. They're just kind of minding their own business. Okay, there we go. Now they're finally whacking it. So they have to get into the right position, but eventually when they do, they will destroy it pretty quickly. And now we only have one last board, and that is our final defense against the normal zombies. The fast zombies are just kind of over here doing whatever. And there we go. So both boards got destroyed there. Now they can get in. This is when things get pretty scary. But there you guys go. So that was a pretty long video for a pretty basic mod. But a very, very, very cool one. I could not pass up the chance to showcase this. As always though guys, you can leave a like, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below. Links will be in the description. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, farewell.